So the first thing we're asking for uh, is that Excel uh, back off of their uh, recommendation to the state regulators to cut the compensation that people get for solar. So right now, people who subscribe to Solar Garden get their energy, uh, get a pretty good compensation from Excel. It's enough that they're actually going to save money by doing it, which is important for low-income access. Uh, Excel has requested to the PUC that that compensation be, be lowered, uh, which would dramatically cut the savings that people who participate in community solar get, and we're asking them to back off of that. So the second thing we're pushing Excel to support is a new financing mechanism that would basically eliminate the need to use credit scores uh, to qualify subscribers. So right now, financiers for community solar look at who's subscribing and they say, is this person going to pay for their solar garden subscription? And right now they use the credit score for that, which means low-income people and often people of color aren't going to qualify just because of you know things that have happened in their lives. Uh, and um, Really, that's not what we should be looking at. We should be looking at, do people pay their utility bills? And people pay their utility bills uh, really consistently. And um, this new mechanism called on-bill repayment uh, would essentially link the payment of your solar garden subscription to your utility bill uh, so that they can just look at that utility bill payment as, are you good to go? And just about everyone is good to go on paying their utility bills. Cool. Uh, so the third thing we're pushing for is uh, a new electric rate structure that's basically based on the principle of if you use less, you pay less. If you use more, you pay more. Um, it would change how people get charged for energy so that the average person and people who use less energy, including low-income people, uh, would pay less for energy, um, which creates both an affordability incentive and also helps people who use less energy save more on community solar. fourth thing that we're pushing for uh, is just Excel's um, support and participation in all the, the workforce development and job training that's happening around solar. So making sure that um, people across all of our communities, and particularly low-income communities and communities of color, uh, can get jobs installing solar, designing solar, uh, really putting together these community solar gardens at all steps of the process. Um, so that community solar becomes a tool uh, to reverse the, the uh, inequity and unfairness in employment that's happening across our state.